Let's move to our other big focus tonight, and that's the virtual war in India's premier space agency, ISRO, after an order which barred former top scientists, including the ex-chief Madhavan Nair, the man behind uh, the successful Chandrayaan and the moon mission, from any government assignment. Madhavan Nair has reacted strongly. He spoke to Pallav Bagla, our science editor. This, as the Prime Minister's office has said, that they will institute an inquiry and listen to what Mr. Nair has to say. Have you been made a scapegoat in this whole process? Uh, I happen to have a look at the so-called order copy. It does not have the format or the seal of the President of India uh, taking action on any of the uh, government servants or people who are retired from the uh, government of India. So this whole thing shows that uh, there is something fishy about the whole incident. So you think, you think the current ISRO chairman, Dr. Radhakrishnan, is doing some vindictive actions against you and the three other scientists? present uh, secretary to the government of India and the chairman of ISRO, he is on the witch hunting mode and uh, he is trying to uh, alienate a uh, few of us and then try to save himself from some big, other, big offense he would have committed in the past. See, the minister for the Department of Space is the prime minister. Some of these actions, do you think, are being taken in concurrence by the prime minister? Does he give his authority and seal behind what is happening today? Uh, currently, the present uh, uh, the chairman, I don't know what mode, he works on it. And uh, perhaps in an in a action like this, I presume, uh, since it involves a government decision, uh, the highest authority should be kept informed. So do you think the current ISRO establishment has been communicating correctly to the, to the, to the government, which essentially means the prime minister in this case? Well, or have they been giving information which is half-baked or not full? Uh, well, if the Prime Minister is in the know and he has come to such a conclusion, I am certainly clear that the Prime Minister has been misled. He has been fed with half-cooked information and distorted facts and figures. I have meagre pension from the Government of India, which I am saying it is not too bad. It's okay. I can uh, pull on with that. NDTV's Cricket App, Android and iPhone. Faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free. NDTV.com slash apps.